My name is Philip Brooks. Um, I'm a fifth year PhD candidate in comparative medicine and integrative biology and environmental integrative toxicological sciences. Uh, my hometown is Noonan, Georgia, uh, live about 30 miles south of Atlanta, and I went to Georgia State University where I got my bachelor's degree in 2010. So my research is focused on understanding how the bacterial pathogen Campylobacter jejuni, one of the leading causes of bacterial diarrheal illness, uh, contributes to autoimmunity, specifically what host factors um, are important for disease manifestation. So the factor that I chose to focus on is the gut microbiota or the community of microorganisms that live in the gut. And I've used two separate models of altered microbial communities, both in antibiotic treated and a humanized mouse model. And I've infected them with Campylobacter jejuni and looked at some autoimmune associated phenotypes. The importance of this work is that it will allow us to understand both uh, mechanisms contributing to disease and hopefully to develop some interventions. AGAP is a great community that allows me to socialize with people and create a, a broader network outside of my specific field. I'm able to go there and hear uh, talks from people in social sciences and other science fields like engineering or math that I really wouldn't hear in my normal graduate program. Also, AGAP provides a lot of support, uh, both financially uh, and uh, uh, emotionally, I guess, uh, just going and, and talking about things and having a network. Every new student should look for a community where they can go and they feel like they belong and they're in a community with scholars who are going to be honest about their graduate student experience. My first year of graduate school was one of the hardest years of my life, probably. Um, I was thrown into a new environment where every, I was constantly being judged on my ability to think about ideas and think about them deeply and to produce new and interesting questions and it was very stressful but I started going to AGAP towards the end of my first year and I felt that I was no longer alone on an island but I was part of a community of people striving for the same things and facing a lot of the same problems and I found myself feeling more relaxed and and more energetic about my research after going and sharing with them and hearing their stories as well. MSU Shrop is a great program that everywhere I go, I go to a lot of conferences every year, scientific conferences, and I'm always recruiting undergraduates and telling them to apply to SROP. Um, SHROP was a program that I participated in as an undergraduate, and as a graduate student, I participated as a, a graduate student facilitator for the program, and it allowed me to uh, pass on some of the knowledge and some of the things that I've learned that allowed me to be successful in graduate school. But it's also helped me to understand where, especially minority undergraduate students, need help um, along their way in their transition to graduate school. And I think it's made me a better mentor, but also a better scientist, and that I'm communicating my science to students who may not have the most exposure, but also that I'm able to help them to dive deeper into their projects. So my long-term goals are involve uh, getting a job with the government, working for an organization like the Center for Disease Control or the, the FDA, and working on projects involving bioinformatics, so sequencing of pathogens in uh, environmental samples. I also want to continue to be very involved in minority recruitment to STEM fields. So in some aspect, I hope that some component of my job will focus on minority recruitment and building up things like summer programs or bridge programs to help underrepresented minorities and students who are uh, from diverse backgrounds to transition into graduate school and to have success.